She's floating! Oh, grab, baby, grab! <laughs> Alright, guys, the results are in. Steve here, Shen RC, and today we're going to have the mega tire test on the incline here. This is a tile, like cement surface I put on. And I used to have the rug one here, carpet type. But well, this is more like real stone. It is actually real stone. So we're going to have the mega test. We're going to test out real Proline Hyrax. We're going to test how high it goes dry, then wet. And then we have the All-Star Clone China Racks. These are all stars, we'll do the same thing. And then I got these new ones. These are the ones, they're clones of the Hyrax, but without the writing. They're uh, sold without writing. They're a different material. To me, they feel kind of like silicone. We're gonna try them dry and wet, and we'll see what the difference is when they're wet and dry. Let's get to the test. We're gonna start out, this is 50, Seven, almost 58 degrees somewhere around there and and what I'm using is my gen 7 crawler and these have the no name on the sidewall the the Hyrax clones we're gonna try them out Let's see, that's it for this one. Let's see what it is. It's like 60. 60. Actually, almost 61. 60 degrees. All right, these are the Proline Hyrax. These are the Predator Compound, the stickiest ones. The ramp is still set at 60 degrees. We're going to see how this deadbolt does. And then, like I said, we're going to do water on the wall to see the difference when it's wet. Stuck here, losing traction. Oh, warming them up, maybe. All right. About the same. This truck is more stable. It didn't lift up, but the tires were slipping. My Gen 7 was lifting up, flipping back. So this looks like it could go up a steeper angle, but the tires may not grip as good. But when I run them on here, it's warming them up because it's going to take some rubber off. Let's put this a little higher. All right, guys, this is 61 flashing 62, so I would say it's 62 almost, just about. Oh, maybe a little too high. He's trying. 62, if it gets up this, it'll be awesome. This is the slippery spot. Oh, that looks like about it. So I'm going to say 61 and a half with these beauties with the deadbolt. All right, we got the Gen 7. These are with the All Star. These have the lettering on the side, the uh, Hyrax clones. And uh, I tried it at this setting from the deadbolt was like 61 and a half degrees it couldn't get nowhere near it so I'm gonna lower it down see what I got here what was my other one the other clone tires went to 60 degrees we're gonna try this at 56 degrees I'll have all the results at the end so you just could see it and pause it all right, All Star High Racks. Oh, 
These are slippery. Oh, wait, they must be warming up. All right, they're warming up. That's 56 degrees. Boy, look at all the burnt rubber, holy smokes. It's a good way to burn up your tires. All for testing purposes for you guys. Come on! He's floating! Oh, grab, baby, grab! <laughs> oh, one more try. I think it's kaput for the All-Stars. Don't 59 it's going on. That's 58, but I'm over here. It's clicking 59 on it, so it's close to 59. Try a little hair more. I don't think it's going anywhere past 59. Here we go. That's it. 59 degrees for these, 60 degrees for the non-riding type. So we're going to test them all in water now and see what the heck they could do. They're probably going to be slipping and sliding. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to spray water, coat around each tire, and I'm going to spray this down with water, and we're going to test it. All right, guys, this is the ramp. We lowered it down to 42 degrees. This is the Gen 7 with the uh, no name, no lettering uh, clones, the Hyrax clones. And uh, we wet the tires with a bottle also, so everything's wet down. Let's see if we could do it. These tires to me feel like silicone, and I know silicone don't grip when wet. They grip pretty good when dry. I can't even go up this at 42 degrees. So I'm thinking I'm right, these may be silicone, guys. All right, we lowered the ramp to 39 degrees. Let's see. Jesus, these, these gotta be silicone, guys. These gotta be silicone, because I tried using WD-40 on the sidewall to see if it did anything, it didn't have no effect. These 39 degrees, I think that's probably about it for these. They're like ice. We got 40 degrees here. Let's try these uh, no name, no lettering clone China Hyraxes wet down. I'm going to give it a push here because this board was out. Yeah. I think these are done for 39 degrees for these beauties. 39. All right, we got the deadbolt again. Wet tires, wet ramp. And these are the real high racks with the Predator. 43 degrees. Goes right up. 
47 degrees. Let's try that. Right up. 54 degrees. Let me give a little spray. Fifty-four degrees. Oh, we're having trouble. We're hopping. We'll try going real slow. I think that's it for these. 54 degrees. I think that's it with these. That's it for these beauties. So what do we get? 54 degrees on these with the Proline Predator compound. 41 degrees. Got the All-Star all tires, the Gen 7, and the water test we want to go slow, and it went up, I'll make it a little higher. Looks like about it for these. The ramp looks like it's drying out. That looks like about it for these ones. Let's see what this is now. Forty-three like 43 all right guys the results are in you've seen it in action on the dry the no name high racks without no name on the sidewall it got 60 degrees wet 39 they really stunk in the water I think because they may be made out of silicone let me show you one here they're like Oh, they're just silicone. But anyhow, that's them. The All-Stars. These ones with the lettering. They got dry 5 point, oh wait, rather, 5, 59 degrees. 5.9. <laughs> and they got wet 43 degrees. These are natural rubber, I could tell. So if you soak these in WD-40 probably, well I do it all the time, but if you soak these in WD-40, like with a thin coat, let it go in, maybe do it again before you go out rock crawling, or like a couple hours or an hour before, these will grip a lot better because they're like natural rubber. These first ones, I tried it on the sidewall. When you put it on, you go like this, it don't make black come off, so these are probably silicone. When you do it with these, you'll see black come off because the rubber gets softer. So they work good with WD-40. And then the Proline Hyrax real ones in the Predator compound, they couldn't be beat. Dry, 61 and a half degrees. And wet was a smoking 54 degrees. So guys, let me know what you think. You've seen the tests. If you have any other tires, because we go in the mountain or some water and stuff. So I guess for us, these uh, high racks in the uh, Predator compound will be the best. Maybe the All-Stars, if I soak them with the WD-40, they fare well. Uh, let me know if you have any uh, other brands of tires that you know that work good. Or if anyone wants to send me a brand to test, I'll, I'll take it and do this for you guys and see the test. I don't know what other brands there are. I think there's like Pitbull and some other ones. But anyhow, Dora Tracks. 
that's the test. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm pooped. This took a lot of time. It's crazy with the water and switching the tires and going nuts with the different rigs. That's it. If you like it, guys, please leave me a thumbs up. It helps the channel out. Hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you're new to watching this, please subscribe. I appreciate it. And like I always say, thanks to all my shen addicts that have been with me for the longest time. I appreciate you all. We'll see you next time. Steve, Shen RC out.